And welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. And oh my goodness, last week was horrible. I mean, you can see it. 55 to 10 was the score. You can watch yesterday's video. You can do all of that. But in that game, we had an opportunity to get George Pickens to superstar development. And obviously, that's not happening because he didn't get to 150 yards receiving or he didn't get three touchdowns. So I'm going to get there eventually. Unfortunately, George Pickens... Oh, goodness. That's not what I wanted to do. Unfortunately, George Pickens does not get the nod. He will still be star development for the rest of the season really um so yeah we're four and five going into this week 11 matchup against the cincinnati Bengals. right now the Bengals are nine and oh we're gonna see if they're gonna be ten and oh i'm assuming they're gonna be okay they're on the bye week so yeah nine and oh Bengals versus the four and oh pittsburgh five sorry five and four and five oh my goodness pittsburgh steelers i wish we were undefeated we're not obviously and we've got a lot of things to take care of as you see we are, we are under siege we've got a hot opponent prospect spotlight as well even though that's probably not going to turn into anything because again i'm still waiting to import a draft class later um and then we got some focus player again that's probably not going to be used um or relevant to our video but also folks while we're at it make sure to join the discord um first link down in the description down below we are you know about half no we are like further than halfway through um getting guys into the uh, online franchise so make sure to join the online franchise 32 teams we're at, i think like 18 right now so join the discord join the franchise as well and make sure that subscribe button down below for some madden 23 here on the channel make sure to also follow us on the socials too great plays by t over there on ig and on tiktok as well so let's get right into this so first up we have got under siege um Let's see what this is. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be a press conference. Yes. So, coach, protection for the quarterback was a major issue this past week as you surrendered a high volume of sacks. Like, I think it was like 10, but it, honestly, it's like that every week. Blame the quarterback, blame the offensive line. You know whose fault it is. It's the offensive line. So, it all starts up front. I feel like we've had this before. The number one job of all offensive line is to keep the quarterback clean. And as laundry, yeah, we've already had this laundry guy, whatever. Okay, we know our O line sucks. Hopefully, in the offseason, it can get better. How do you get the group back on track? Of course, extra prep for this game. Again, we've already had this cut scene before. So I'm just going to keep it going. I uh, will get plus three pass block power and pass block finesse. And then, okay, our run block is going to be bad. So, and here you go. Like we had in the Dolphins game, try to throw for more than 300 yards. I guess the Bengals, honestly, it's probably going to be a shootout if we are going to stay somewhat competitive in this game. So I'm not against it because, again, you know Joe Burrow is going to show up. You know Jamar Chase is going to show up. You know these guys for the Bengals are going to show up. And also, oh, by the way, they got Joe Mixon in the backfield as well. So our next thing, we've got a hot opponent. Speak about ending your opponent's winning streak. Let's see what happens right here. Um, so back in the um, media day, coach, you're up against the Bengals this week, and they've been playing really great football lately well obviously they're nine and oh insult opponent be confident yeah i'm gonna insult them all right they're not as good as the couch quarterbacks say they're only nine and oh they're only the afc champions they've only you know not lost since the super bowl i've been watching the film and i see weaknesses that i plan to exploit my goodness we lost them in week one we got blown out oh mike tomlin's got balls of steel okay we have plus 10 break tackle wow oh plus five Oh my goodness, all right, that works. All right, we're just gonna insult him. All righty, okay, I am happy with that. I'm honestly happy with that. Um, and then prospect spotlight, again, I don't think this is gonna matter because I'm just gonna import a draft class later. We'll go through this real quick, but um, yeah, so our assistant GM says, uh, yeah, you wanna look at middle linebacker Julius Weaver. Again, he's gonna get replaced with an actual prospect coming into the NFL. This doesn't matter. It says, okay, whatever, we'll look at this scouting report. I don't give a damn about that. So here you go. We've already insulted the Bengals. It's the four and, I, four and five. Can I talk? Four and five Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the undefeated Cincinnati Bengals in Pittsburgh. It's a rematch of week one, which obviously the Bengals won. If you look real quick at the league leaders, so Matthew Stafford leads the NFL in passing yards. Following him will be, of course, the two time, or the, both of the MVPs, of course, in Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Rushing leaders, you got McCaffrey, Taylor, Henry. Receiving leaders, you got Cooper Cup, Michael Thomas, and Cedric Wilson, and then Emmanuel Ogba leads the NFL in sacks so huge matchup this week Steelers and Bengals prime time let's get it going next week we will be in Indy then in Atlanta and then at home against the Baltimore Ravens let's do it folks Bengals and Steelers well this is gonna be a challenge I mean Sunday night football at home in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania but the problem is again we're taking on the undefeated Cincinnati Bengals and now of course we show up every week Akella Witherspoon six interceptions so far this season in just nine games so it is a different Steelers team than what we saw in week one of the regular season. I mean, definitely. I mean, week one, we were horrible. We let Joe Mixon run all over us. We had Joe Burrow have his way on offense against the Pittsburgh defense. But again, this Steelers defense has gotten a lot better. I would really credit that start to that Buffalo Bills game, of course. Witherspoon breaking out. Minka Fitzpatrick with the interception. Two going to Sutton as well. So we'll see if the Steelers defense 
defense can hold up against the Bengals offense tonight. I think we will honestly be able to. It's just a matter of that man right there, Kenny Pickett, and the offense being able to show up and deliver on that side of the football because you know the defense is going to show up and you know they're going to put up a fight. It's just a matter of if the offense can support them and not turn over the football, I don't know, five times. And that also, you know, kind of points to the offensive line as well. Can we keep Kenny Pickett off the ground? Because if we can, he'll be successful. Big example, look at the Eagles game. If you can't, I mean, look what happened last week at home against the New Orleans Saints. Of course, next week for Pittsburgh, they'll be traveling to Indianapolis to take on Matt Ryan, Michael Pittman Jr., and Jonathan Taylor of the Indianapolis Colts. So starting with the football first, it will be the Cincinnati Bengals on the road, still undefeated. And here's Joe Shiesty. 25 touchdowns this season, six interceptions, 2,733 yards. He's got to be the clear front runner for MVP this year. Of course, the Bengals have still not lost since the Super Bowl last year in in Los Angeles, second and three for Burrow, taking a shot downfield, oh! Over the head of both Trell Edmonds and John Ross, third and three now for Burrow from zone 32 yard line, looking to throw, gonna take a deep shot, we're there with Wallace, and Levi Wallace just gets completely mossed by Jamar Chase, and with one play, it is a 63 yard pickup for the Cincinnati Bengals, they've got it all the way down to the five yard line for a first and goal play action fake for Burrow, looking to throw to his right in that ball, oh it's picked up, Akella Witherspoon gets number seven, He's always there. Akello Witherspoon gets us the football back. The Bengals don't score, and here he comes. Kenny Pickett. Now, we've seen flashes of greatness, but I mean, okay, six touchdowns, 15 interceptions, 1,413 yards. I kind of just want to get to Pickett's sophomore season because the rookie one just isn't looking all that great. Now, we're going to give the ball to Najee Harris first in a counter, and Harris is going to pick up 10 yards, making this now a second inches from the 30-yard line. We send the tight end in motion and give it back to Najee Harris, and up the middle, Harris will run his way down to the first down marker, and Moore will pick up again a six. Down to the 36 yard line, it's a first and 10 for the Steelers offense. Pickett looking to his right, he has got the tight end and Pat Fryermuth. Fryermuth gonna pick up 13 for a first and 10 at two to 49. Handoff again for Najee and on the inside zone, Harris is gonna pick up another good gain of eight. So a second and two, we keep it on the ground to Harris. And there you go again, the run game working early for Pittsburgh, four carries for 30 yards for Najee Harris. But now it's a third and 12. Pickett out the gun, looking throw, stepping up, he's sacked. Technically, they're going to give him a yard run on that, so it won't be a sack for Trey Hendrickson. Instead, we're going to take a 56-yard field goal for Chris Boswell. It is up, and it is. Oh, my goodness. Just, just, just barely no good. So Cincinnati gets it back from the 46-yard line, and Burrow's going to hand it off to Joe Mixon on a first down. Mixon's going to pick up a huge gain into Pittsburgh territory, down to their 41-yard line. First and 10 again for Burrow. Out the gun, looking to throw. Joe Shiesty got all day in the pocket. Got to let one fly over the middle. He has got the tight end in Hayden Hurst. The former Falcon and Raven has got a big first down down to the 25-yard line. Now a second and six for Cincinnati, trying to enter the red zone right here. Burrow dropping back to his right. TJ Watt getting to him, and oh, ball's picked off Levi Wallace. We just got our second interception against Joe Burrow, but a flag on the play, and of course, it's on the Pittsburgh Steelers. It'll be a roughing the passer on TJ Watt. Got to Joe Burrow. I mean, I didn't even think it was all that late. They're going to give the Bengals a first down at the 10-yard line. You know it's the NFL when they're calling bogus, roughing the passer calls. Should have had that pick with Miles Jack, but instead it's batted down to it. Comes a third and five from the six-yard line. And Burrow's got time looking to throw. Still looking. And as I was playing this live, I said, you know, this is probably going to be a touchdown somehow. And of course it is. So John Ross cuts back inside and Joe Burrow finds him in the end zone. It will be 7-0 for the Cincinnati Bengals, just like that. So Pittsburgh back with the football, picking up the empty gun look, looking to throw over the top. He's got Deontay Johnson finding a hole in the coverage. Kenny Pickett's now two for two for 42 yards over midfield. The Steelers are now into Cincinnati territory. And here comes the third and three, the final play of the first quarter. Chase Claypool over the middle, gonna pick up a gain of six. So Pickett has been perfect so far in the first quarter. We're going into the second, seven nothing for the undefeated Bengals. So to kick off the second quarter, Pittsburgh's got it from the 32 yard line, second and seven for Kenny Pickett, scrambling to his right, looking for somewhere to get rid of the football and oh great, just gonna fumble, yeah. All right, we're gonna lose 10 yards. It's now a third and 16 for Pittsburgh. Pickett out the gun, looking to let one fly to the left. James Claypool's got it and it's out of the hands. Okay, so we punt it back to Cincinnati. Presley Harvin boots him down to the 21 yard line and Joe Burrow, oh, back ball. User all the way. Miles Jack gets the second interception of the game. The third, if you don't count the roughing the passer. And the Steelers take over from the Cincinnati 32. Huge second seven. Can the Steelers take advantage of the turnover? We're going to find Pat Frymuth right there on the delay cross. He's going to pick up a gain of nine down to the 23 yard line. Here, though, comes a third and 12 from the 25 yard line. Here comes Pickett and around the edge. They're going to get to him. 
Hubbard's got his second sack of the contest, and that will be a 49-yarder for Chris Boswell, Mitchell Trubisky on the hold, and this one is good. So the Steelers get on the board. It's 7-3 with Cincinnati getting the football back halfway through the second quarter from the 25-yard line over the middle. There goes the speed demon in John Ross. Ross going to find his way down to the 43-yard line. Give him a gain of 18. Third and four now for Burrow. Dropping back, looking to throw. Burrow to his right. Risky ball. Okay, yeah. Okello Weatherspoon bats that one down. And the Steelers get off the field. So here comes the offense from the 34-yard line. Pickett looking to throw over the middle right to Pat Fryermuth. The starting tight end has got a pickup of eight yards down to the 42-yard line. Three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Pickett dropping back. He's got trips to the left. Instead, he'll check it down to Pat Frymuth. Najee Harris with a great block upfield, and Frymuth gets rid of Jesse Bates right there in the stiff arm. So make it a third and one from the 49-yard line. They hand it off to Najee Harris, and Harris has got it on the ground. And again, there's, there's a reason I don't continue to show running plays deep into games. It's just because they work early, and then as the game progresses, nothing really happens. That's right there. Nothing's happening for the Steelers. Pickett tries to go on a slant to, I believe, Deontay Johnson. Jesse Bates comes flying in like he's Superman and picks off the football. So the Bengals get it from the 43-yard line now, and Burrow looks over the top. And Jamar Chase, you see with that little stutter step, that little hezzy, gets Miles Jack. And now Cincinnati's got it from the 34-yard line. Here comes Burrow again out the gun, looking to throw. He dumps it off to Joe Mixon. Mixon will be right down at the 24-yard line. Time's ticking, though. Only one timeout left for the Bengals. They haven't taken it just yet. 20 seconds to go on the quick out route. Oh, Alex Highsmith gets beat by Hayden Hurst. And now it's a first and 10 from the 10. And Cincinnati still got that timeout. There goes Hurst again. He's brought down, what, the four? 13 seconds to go. No timeouts to the Bengals. If we can sack Burrow half over. And instead, he finds Jamar Chase on a quick slant route. He's hitting the gritty. We're going to check the flag on the play. But I don't think this is going to be good for Pittsburgh. If this holds, it's going to be 14-3 for the Bengals, and it will. It's a roughing the passer on the Pittsburgh D-line. More specifically, it's actually on Devin Bush. So, Cincinnati goes up by 11 points as we head into the third quarter. 14-3 for the undefeated Cincinnati Bengals. The Steelers, though, do start with the football here to kick off the second half. Okay, so let's see that mighty Steelers offense. First and 10, handoff Najee Harris, kicking off the second half just like we did the first half on offense with the Harris run. He's got 11 carries now for 61 yards. It'll be a third and six from the 39 yard line. Pickett looking to throw over the top to George Pickens. Probably not the best read because yeah, Jesse Bates was there. So the Bengals have got the football down from the 18 yard line. It'll be a third and nine for Joe Burrow. On the run, they'll dump it off to Joe Mixon. I don't know where the first down marker is. And of course, on a damn check down, Joe Mixon finds the first down marker. I mean, it wasn't visible to me on the screen. It's a first and 10 for Cincinnati from the 27-yard line. Burrow looks to his left. He's got Mixon. He'll shake off one tackle. He'll shake off two tackles. And he'll pick up a gain of eight, setting up for a second and two. Burrow going to hand it off again. No, he's going to keep on a play action fake. Miles, Jack read that all the way. Jack splits right through a gap. Takes down Joe Burrow. It's now a third and 10 from the 26-yard line. Here comes Burrow again looking to throw. Everyone's covered for now. Burrow's still looking, and he'll throw it away with Miles Jack in pursuit. So Pittsburgh gets the football from the 37-yard line. Empty gun look for Kenny Pickett. He steps up in the pocket. He'll look to run, and Kenny Pickett will find his way down to the 47-yard line. So a huge first down now for Pittsburgh, and we got to start hurrying up on offense. First and 10 for Pickett. Looking to his right. Ball is picked off. Pat Frymuth can't get there. Oh, Najee Harris gets set into oblivion with that stiff arm. 20-3 to now. The rookie out of Michigan, Daxton Hill. And here comes Evan McPherson for the extra point. Oh, it's going to be blocked. All right, Lane blocks it, and Terrell Edmonds is going to pick it up, and he's gone. I mean, Drew Sample's the closest guy to him, and he's a tight end, and he's, I mean, way gone at this point. Terrell Edmonds is going to take that in for two, so, I mean, I know throwing the pick six is bad, but it's still a two-score game. It's a 15-point game, 20-5. to five. All right, hey, if the offense can somehow score, this one's not over. Third and nine for Kenny Pickett over the middle. George Pickens going to pick up a game of what, eight? Fourth and one at this point in the game, this stage of the game, we're going. Fourth and one for the Pittsburgh offense. Pick it out the gun. Hand off. Najee Harris got it. Okay, that's a big run right there for Harris. Down to the 47 to gain a 13, 14 carries for 79 yards for Najee. Second and 10 for Pickett on a play action fake. He'll look back to him. Harris to the outside. Good block up field by Pat Fryermuth. And there goes Najee Harris down to the Cincinnati 37 yard line. But the thing is, can we finally punch the ball into the end zone here? First and 10 again for Pickett. Play action fake. Over the top. What a read. What a route. Pat Fryermuth down to the 13 yard line. 
first and 10 now for Pittsburgh. Here comes Pickett off the gun. We hand it off to Najee Harris. Following his lead block in Daniels. It's going to be a second and one now from the three or from the four. Third and one for Pickett. Empty gun. Locked and he's got George Pickens. Pickens sits down in the end zone. Boxes out Jesse Bates. And the Pittsburgh Steelers have made this a eight-point game. 20 to 12 as we go into the fourth quarter somehow some way this is a one score contest all to play for here in the fourth can the Steelers find a way to end the undefeated season for the Cincinnati Bengals and can we make those damn 70s Dolphins have their damn beer party in Miami again we're about to find out first and 10 for Burrow to his left he finds Hayden Hurst Hurst with the juke Miles Jack brings him down at midfield but it's a second and one now for the Cincinnati offense Burrow dropping back looking to throw he's got Jamar Chase Chase down to the 41 yard line. It'll now be a first and 10 from that 41. Burrow dropping back, looking to throw. We're using Miles Jack up the middle and a nice double move right there by Tyler Boyd. going to get us off the route. He'll pick up eight down to the 32 yard line. Second and two for Joe Burrow to his left. Oh, ball's dropped. Drew Sample fumbles and we've got it with Levi Wallace. Minka Fitzpatrick hit it out. Wallace trying to take it all the way back. Oh, why did Joe Burrow just completely run Joe Mixon out the play? I mean, thanks to Joe Burrow, Levi Wallace takes it all the way back to the house. It's a scoop and score for Pittsburgh. And here comes the two-point conversion. It's 20 to 18. Here comes Pickett to his left. Oh, he had Jay Sternberger. He just misses him. Pickett. Oh, no. That's not good. Cincinnati still at top by two. Burrow to his left looking to throw. And that ball's hit. Oh, Minka Fitzpatrick with the interception. Minka's got it again. Two turnovers by the former Dolphin and Minka Fitzpatrick. And the Steelers will take over from the Cincinnati 19-yard line. With seven minutes to go, the Steelers are in control, at least it feels. Third and six for Pickett to his right. Of course, he's that. Trey Hendrickson. With his fourth sack of the game. Now we're coming out for a 41-yard field goal. Here comes Chris Boswell from the right hash. It's up and it's good. So the Pittsburgh Steelers have taken their first lead here on Sunday Night Football. They are up by one with six minutes to go. And here comes Joe Shiesty. Over the middle, find Jamar Chase. Chase is going to pick up a gain of 11. He'll have a first down to the 36-yard line. Pittsburgh's defense has got to come through right here. But Hayden Hurst... He is going to pick up a huge gain right there down to the 47 yard line. Here comes Cincinnati into Pittsburgh territory. Second and 11 for Burrow out the gun, looking to throw everything underneath this covered over the top. Got to get there. Oh, Levi Walls. No. Burrow with the bad ball. He was hit as he threw, and it still gets to Jamar Chase. An interception right there changes the game. Now, Burrow over the middle. He's got Hayden Hurst. Hurst off a tackle or a missed tackle by Terrell Edmonds, and he leaps into the end zone, and the Cincinnati Bengals have retaken the lead. Here comes the two-point conversion up by five or Cincinnati. It's now seven. Jamar beats Minka Fitzpatrick inside. Oh my goodness, if we could have had that pick. And now we got to go try to go down the field and tie this game and maybe send it into overtime. So Pat Frymuth has got us again a 14 down in midfield. Here comes a first and 10 for Pickett to his left. Najee Harris breaks off a tackle. Look at Harris go. All right, he stumbles his way down to the 45-yard line. Second and five for Pickett. Looking over the middle, there is Chase Claypool. I think his first catch since, what, the first quarter? Claypool pulled down to the 35-yard line. Here comes the first and 10. Pickett out the gun, looking to throw. He'll step up in the pocket and... Okay, I... Let me explain. I, I didn't mean to throw that football. I, I, I panicked. I scrambled. I, I was, I, this was like at two in the morning. It's now like seven in the morning and I'm recording this, okay? Uh, okay. So uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was horrible. We're going to lose the game 28 to 21. Now, best insult in the comment section down below. Get it out because I know you want to insult me right now. And, I, and I, I get it. I get it. If I was watching this, I'd be mad too, okay? So best insult in the script in the comment section down below gets a shout out in tomorrow's video. Now, it's got to be kind of funny though because like you can't just tell me to go after myself and I'm not going to shout you out in the next video. But make it funny and, and you know what? I'll, you'll get featured in the next video, okay? I'm not going to read all of them, but I'll read some of them, all right? Um, we're going to lose 28 to 21. Now, honestly, we were in a close game with the best team in football, and that that's cool. I mean, I'm happy about that. The Bengals are now 10-0. The Steelers are now, what, 4-6? and six? 
Again, we didn't think this was going to be our year, but we're staying competitive with a team like the Bengals, and we'll see what we can do next week against a really good team of firepowered offense and probably the AFC South champions. I don't know in this version of things, but in all likeliness, the front runners in the AFC South. I know the Titans have something to say about that, but the Indianapolis Colts. We'll go to Lucas Oil next week. We'll take on Matt Ryan. We'll take on Jonathan Taylor. We'll see the star receiver, the family man, in Michael Pittman Jr., and we'll see what happens. Again, we didn't think this was going to be our season. It's a learning curve. We'll be back tomorrow, folks. Thank you all for watching episode number 10 of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise mode here on Madden 23. If you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Thank you for watching. I'm Mava from.